What's up, uh, YouTube? Roger here. Um, today was uh, the update of the Clockwork Syringe quest that Jagex. It was the uh, pirate quest, sorry, that uh, Jagex brought out. Um, finished that quest a few hours ago when it came out. Um, it takes about an hour and a half without a guide, probably a lot shorter with a guide. Although I don't like using guides because I like to do my quests, so because I, I find I learn things from doing quests without guides, and I enjoy reading about storylines and whatnot. And uh, so I did the quest, and uh, the reward's decent. Um, uh, this is what the British blade looks like. Looks pretty cool, in my opinion. It's kind of like a giant crab claw, and these are the stats of it. 67 stab, 8 slash, minus 2 crush, 66 strength uh, defense, and weighs 1.8 kilograms. 1 quest point, 19k defense, 18k smithing, 18k thieving, 15k summoning, 11.25k construction, 11k slayer, 5k dungeoneering XP, access to the Brain Death Island Rumgeon or dungeon. Uh, where the uh, rum pumped crabs are that you can kill for the um, British blade, which I'm gonna show you the max hits of. And Neo, Flame, and me, and, and uh, CC, bastard. <laughs> uh, and you also get a scroll too that um, allows you to t teleport between Mos Lahamas and Brain Death Island. Um, it's not a bad reward considering how long the quest takes and I have just gone to the um, isle to the dungeon and got and killed those crabby things. It took me about 20 minutes. A guy said he'd been there for 3 hours and he got one. I was there for 20 minutes and I got one but there you go. It's a rodgy look. Um, so I'm gonna do a bit. I'm gonna gonna do another vid and uh, show you what the max hits are like on it and see what I can hit. Um, apparently, the British blade requires 60 attack to wield. It is dropped by the rum pumped crabs in the combat dungeon, unlocked in the quest, a clockwork syringe. It has a higher stab bonus than Karassi's sword, albeit higher strength, albeit lower strength bonus. Sorry, it is a one-handed weapon, unlike the Zamorakian spear and Karassi's sword. The British blade has an aggressive stab stance, which I'll show you now, uh, it, it's stab in, inaccurate, um, which is useful for those who do not wish to gain defense experience, so it might be useful, well, it won't be useful for you because you get defense XP off the crest, sorry. Um, it, this weapon is equal all in, in all stats to the Dragon Scimitar, however the stab and slash are switched because Karassi's sword and chaotic weapons are harder to obtain and have higher requirements to equip. This weapon is of great use to players fighting monsters weak to stabs such as dragons. And I will do the max hits now, so enjoy. Here we go. First try. Let's see what we can hit. Two six five. Two two six. And uh, also thanks to Tommy Eva or Thomas is a normal member of life for helping me with this vid. Let's see what special attack does. Ooh, that's pretty cool. There's zero of them. Seems to be a hundred percent four five six as a new max four four seven three four nine yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not really sure why I'm eating, but let's go for round two. Ooh. KO. Also discovered that the uh, the British blade has the same special attack as a brine saber, which has which is called liquefy that doubles the chance of hitting and adds two two point five percent of the damage to your strength, attack, and defense, draining seventy percent of the special attack meter. However, the special attack only works when the player is underwater. That is with the um, Brian Saber. It's exactly the same as a Brian Saber, but it works a 